Steve Noble, Noble Moto here. Uh, we're going to teach you how to use the uh, tire machine uh, wherever you're at, or specifically the one here at Skidmark Garage. Uh, it's good if you've got to change out a tire, tube, uh, anything like that. It's way easier to muscle it by hand. Uh, one thing before we, before we begin, uh, be careful when using these things. Uh, it is a machine. Machines don't care about your fingers. It does have a lot of power. Nobody wants to get broken fingers off the thing or a trip to the hospital to get some stitches. So, use your brain. Keep an eye on where your hands are and where the moving parts are when you do this. So, first things first, going to uh, pull the uh, little needle out of the center of the valve stem. Uh, we have a little tool right here. It's got a little notch there in the front of it. If it'll focus. Eh, trust me, it's there. Got a little notch there in it. And uh, up inside the valve stem is the actual little spring valve. So we're just going to unscrew this out of here. All that drain. Get your little look there at the uh, little focus there on the uh, little spring tab. This little plunger here. It's what actually uh, keeps the air inside your tire there. Little tab there. I'm gonna put this off the side in a safe location where we won't lose it, where it'll stay clean. And that should drain all the air out of the tire right there. Uh, on the front of the tire machine, you get your four pedals. You've got an up and down movement, the in and out movement here. Uh, the third one from the left uh, is actually the actuator that actually operates this arm here, and this is what we're going to use to break the tire bead free with. Uh, and then the fourth one actually makes the unit rotate. So, just for demonstration, we'll make that work later. Um, so, first thing we're going to do, we have the little mechanical arm here. We're going to roll the tire up, up against the rubber pad, and then we're going to put the metal plate here on just outside the end of the edge of the bead on the rim. Now press the second or third pedal from the left, or second one from the right. You're gonna hear the air go and it'll actually pull this arm in and break the bead off on the tire. Watch your hands up here, it's awfully close setup. So let that free. That broke the bead off right here. I'm gonna rotate the tire around a little bit more. Right about there. Check, beads broken all the way around. I'm gonna flip it around the other side. Same thing there. The idea in the end, we want to be able to squeeze this all in by hand. Squeeze the bead of the tire uh, away, away from the wheel. Next thing we're going to do is put the tire up on the machine and uh, actually break the tire free from the bead of the wheel. So, we've got these four clamps here, and the way this works is second pedal from the left with the four arrows. You press it once, the jaws come out. And you press it again, and you'll notice it actually pops to an upright position. Oh, hang on. There we go. Might cycle it once or twice. Then all the jaws are tracked in. Now, it's kind of hard to creep up on with this thing, so you want to be careful when you actually press it for the thing to go out. Your fingers are out of the way. And you want to be careful, too, that these jaws here don't catch your spokes on the way out. There's a lot of pressure on it. So we're going to set the wheel up in here a little bit. We're going to hold it above the jaws. Press this out. You can kind of feather it a little bit with your toe there. And we get it all the way out. Make sure the pedal locks down. And once it's locked down, this wheel is attached to the uh, to the mount here. Next step, we've got the uh, upper clamp here. Moves in and out, moves up and down. 
have a little lock button right here. It actually locks it in place, the up and down movement. So pull the trigger, release it. Bring it down to this little metal edge here is seen on the edge of your bead. Hopefully you can see that. Lock it in place. All right, here we are. I'm gonna take the arm here, push it down against the bead of the rim. Press the lock button up here and lock it in place. So everything's in there. I'm gonna take the large tire bar here. We're gonna hook the end of the tire bead and pull it up over this little metal tab here. And we've got to make sure the tire actually pulled over this spot here. If it doesn't, it'll just pop the tire iron out of there. There you can see what setup I have. All right, now we're going to press the pedal on the far right. The machine should rotate. And the machine should do all the work and pull the tire up out of the, uh, off the rim, or off the uh, bead up onto the rim. So here we go. Once we get so far, I'm going to pull the tire iron out of the way. And there you have it. First bead is off. All right. Got the uh, tire iron here all the way down through to the other side of the bead. Let me show you on camera here. You can see all the way down and through there, the end of the tire iron is actually holding the other bead out. So, I'll hold that in place. Same scenario. We're going to pull this up and over the edge there, like that. We're going to take a little PB blaster, soapy water, something like that. Give a little spritz down in there. You don't always need this, but on old tire like this, it sure does help. Same scenario again. Press the pedal on the far right. And there your tire is off the bead, off the wheel. All right, well, here we are. Got our new tire. Uh, there's a rotation arrow right here. Might not show up on camera, but if you look at your sidewall, you'll see there. Uh, so you want to be pay attention to the way that tread is going to rotate and the way the wheel is going to rotate, because that's how it'll actually, you know, that's how it actually makes the rainwater shoo it away from your tread tires. You don't want to put those on backwards, obviously. So brake rotor be on the right side, therefore arrow should be pointing this way. So this other side of the bead here will go on first. Uh, and we got a rag here soaked with soapy water. So we're going to soap up the inside of the bead here. And what this does is it gives it a little bit of lube for the tire bead to go over the edge of the rim there. Obviously, you want to clean your entire wheel first, clean off any loose rust that's around you around the bead. Otherwise, it won't seal. Clean out your debris, replace a uh, spoke strip if you have one, or rim strip. Uh, we got a new one on down here. And uh, that keeps the uh, heads of the spokes from rubbing on the inner tube and popping. Uh, if you don't, if you have mag wheels, you don't have to worry about that. But once you soap up the wheel, start out with the bottom edge here, down below the edge of the rim. Then sometimes you can get lucky and just take a little bit of muscle and force the bead up over the edge of the rim. If that doesn't work, you get the last little section, like right about there. I'm going to take these little smoothed end tire irons here and slide them down here. Got your little notch there on the front of it. So we're going to slide that down there. Take it, force that up over there. And then, uh, just for the sake of demonstration here. For sake of demonstration here. Get the other tire iron. Force that down in there, underneath the bead. And up and over. And your first bead, pull your tire iron out. Your first bead is down on the rim there. All right, we got our new tube here. I already gave it a little shot of air, uh, just to give it a little bit of shape uh, so it doesn't kink up nearly as easy. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, tire irons, we're gonna pull the tire back from the rim here a little bit, slide it through, get the valve stem through the hole, then thread the nut on there. Thread the nut on there and snug it up with our fingers. That'll hold the initial nozzle, the tube in place. Then we want to massage the tube in all the way around. Um, want to make sure it's nowhere where it's going to get pinched or uh, bound up or ripped open or anything, because uh, that'll just cause problems down the road.
All right, got the tube in there, wrestled into the rim. Still got the upper bead loose here. Once you get down in there, you'll feel it just kind of drop into place. Got the little nut here for the uh, valve stem. Gonna thread that on, make sure everything is square. Thread down the valve stem that is. We're just gonna finger tighten that. Make sure it's sitting nice and square down in there. Don't want any crooked valve stems. It means your tube's kinked in there somewhere, and that's a no bueno. And uh, so we've got our tube down in there. Everything's sitting good. Pull it up a little bit. Run your fingers around here. Make sure uh, your tube isn't kinked anywhere. Make sure everything's sitting flat. Otherwise, when you inflate it, you get a little weird lops lopsided spot in your tire. And uh, from there, the array is set up to... Uh, Remount the other bead. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, take the tire iron here. We're going to pop the bead over out of the way. Then we're going to drop the arm down here onto the edge of the rim. And we're going to set up so the arm is holding part of the uh, bead edge here underneath the rim. We're going to set up that, that way when we press the pedal, everything rotates and it forces the uh, rest of the bead back onto the rim as it comes around. Now, as you want to do this, you want to be very careful that you don't uh, one, get your fingers stuck in here anywhere, or um, you know, pinch the tube. Pinch the tube, cause a flat. Fingers stuck can cause loss of appendages. We started with ten. Let's finish with ten. There we go. Let's get the uh, tube down in there. This sucker is spring load, so it can be a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna lock it in place. A little button up there. We're going to unlock that again. Let's see if we can't. There we go. Get it pressed down in there like so. Now we go around. I'm going to make sure that the, um, and make sure right here, I have the tire iron underneath here, underneath the bead. Make sure, give it a good visual, make sure I'm not pinching the tube anywhere. Look down there, make sure your tube's not pinched. Once again, be very aware of where your fingers are and everything. I already put a little soapy water on this to make sure it all works well. And I'll uh, press the pedal on the far right, make it rotate. We're just gonna bump it a little bit. There we go. Now we're keeping this tire iron in here to keep this from rolling back out as the tire mounts the rest of the way around in here. All right, our little arm popped off here, so we're going to release it again. We're actually going to go all the way around and restart the tool back here again. Better tire machine guy wouldn't have that problem. Go back down here, arm right up against the bead, lock it in place with the button here on the handle. Locked in place, take the tire iron. Once again, make sure the tube's not pinched. Make sure everything's in place. There we go. It's good to take your time doing this. No rush. Watch your uh, left hand here just come around because your, your tire is about to get a little close to the machine here. And uh, Let everything catch up. Watch your thumbs. Make sure nothing's getting pinched. It's about to snap in there. So I bump it a little bit. Let it catch up. Almost there. Boom. There you have it. Release your We'll hold down bar there, and your tire is mounted on your bead. Once again, we're going to check. Valve stem is still straight. Here, we'll pull it out of the rack so you can see that. All right, there you have it. Uh, and check, make sure valve, te valve stem is still straight. Pull it out of this rack here. Lift up as we do it. All right, see our valve stem right here? That's pretty close to being straight there. Check it, finger tighten again. 
Actually, you can get a wrench. All right, got a wrench here. Kind of just uh, gently snug up the uh, valve stem there. Tight, just like so. And there you have it. Go back around, get a little visual down in here. Rotate it around, make sure the tube's not sitting there pinched. Nothing looks abnormal. Everything looks good. And we will uh, pump the camera up here a bit. I'm gonna go around the back side here, grab some air. Take our tire inflator here, hook it on to the um, tube. We've got a little gauge on here. Just gonna keep bumping air. Now you're gonna see the beads start coming out to pop into place here on the rim. Don't ever want to get your fingers in there. Probably take your fingertip or at least your fingernail off. And pulse it a little bit. And check, make sure we got a nice, good, tight. Don't want to exceed the uh, max pressure for the tire here when we do this. You can probably hear it pop in. And right about there, we pull the tube off. Give a good spin around there. Make sure your uh, tires see it up there on the beat. Everything looks good. Over the other side here. Give it a good visual. Make sure your tires see it up on the rim there. Everything looks good. You have mounted a tire. That's how it's done. All right, as you just saw, we uh, got the tire mounted, mounted up onto the wheel. Uh, so what we got going on here is we're, now we're going to balance it. We got mounted up here on the balancer. It's pretty self-explanatory. You put the rod through the uh, center of the thing. And you've got these two little tapered pieces on here. Let me spin this around where you can hopefully see it. You've got these little tapered pieces right here. And the way that works is you slide it on the rod into where the tapered piece is sitting up on the bearing. Snug it down with the Allen screw and do the other side. Basically, you just want to make sure the bearings are sitting on these little tapered pieces uh, and not the axle. That way, everything's sitting nice and square in there. And after that, set it up here on the rollers. Slide it back into place there. Uh, then what basically we're going to do is we're going to spin it around here. We'll give it a little rip, let it go. And uh, we're going to mark the place wherever it stops. Uh, in this case, we're going to mark it at top dead center, or you can mark it at bottom dead center, whatever works for you. But um, we're going to mark it at top dead center, and wherever it stops. And then if it stops in the same spot, we're going to put a weight at that spot up here. Um, and that's because the heaviest spot would then be stopping on the bottom. Uh, if we go three times in a row and we don't get three of the, don't get to stop in the same spot three times in a row, we're going to call that a good balanced wheel. So right here. I'm just going to mark that black magic marker mark there. Some people mark it at the bottom, some people mark it at the top. I think you can see it easiest if I do it up here. So we're going to give it a little rotation here. Enough where it goes around at least twice. Uh, don't need to spin it forever. And uh, got these little, oh, we're waiting for it to stop. Got these little stick on weights here from Motion Pro, even black. So, or they got chrome looking ones too. Uh, but it's got a little double side tape on the back of this thing and um, peel double side tape off, stick it on wherever it needs to go and uh, should be good to go. Uh, these are quarter ounce ones. Uh, you can go up and get larger ones or if it becomes problematic, you can put them next to each other. You don't ever want to put them on top, but you can put them next to each other and that'll, you know, make up for a way out of balance wheel. Um, so right there, looks like it uh, stopped at a different spot here. So just to be thorough, we're going to measure that, mark that one. Actually, no, that stopped at the same spot as before. So because of that, we're going to take a weight here. We're going to stick it right on here, just like so. All right, so we're going to balance that spot. Let's give her a spin here.
You can see there's already one way down here from when we balanced it before, from the last time I shot this and uh, screwed up the video. Wait for it to stop here. And that right there is a new location. So we're going to mark that. Use a black magic marker on tire, that way it's not much of a mark and you know it'll fade away afterwards. So we're gonna spin it one more time here. That is a different location there. And one more time, just for good measure. All right, it's a third location there. There's no mark up here. So we're going to call that wheel balanced. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I really got here. Um, if you uh, like what you see or anything, uh, comment, share, whatever. Click the link, subscribe below. Um, check me out on my website, uh, www.noblemoto.com. That's K-N-O-B-L-E.com. Should be a link in the bio. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up. Uh, until then, ride fast, take chances.